All right, so this is in the topic of what are the five food groups. And as a teacher, as an instructor, I'm going to record a response and I'm going to start the discussion. So here we go, recording a response. So we're going to click on that button. And when I'm ready to record, I'm going to hit this uh, big white circle here. Um, again, you can have uh, discussions with your students about adding effects and you know enhancing the video but not making it overly silly so you've got effects you've got options here so again encourage it obviously you know having those tools is going to really promote uh, student participation they're going to get excited about that but again um, having that discussion about um, where that line is all right keeping it kind of student professional versus getting carried away with all the effects and silliness that that students like to do all right so here we go we're going to record our response and we're going to see if we can get students to respond to me and um to keep adding to the discussion so here we go all right so I'm going to try and answer the question, what are the five food groups? Okay, I'm going to think really hard about this. Okay, I think we have grains. I think we have dairy. Oh, I think we have vegetables. Oh, Mr. Long has drawn a blank. Okay, I need your help. I think I'm missing two food groups. Can you help me out? Can you name? all five food groups i really need your help here all right please help me i need all five food groups that way i have a balanced meal all right thank you and good luck all right so when i am done recording i can hit the next button and it's going to show me how my video turned out all right you can add more if you still have more time and i'm going to say yep yeah, that looks great so i'm going to go ahead and click next and i can again this thing is great it can you can really um personalize each of your responses for for today's sake this looks good to me so we're going to go ahead and say submit again you can take the time to look through all these see what you can do um you can talk to your students about what you can do and now i'm going to upload my video and once that is done uploading that will now uh well you will see let's give it a couple seconds You can teach your students about patience. All right, so success, and we're gonna click done. All right, so interestingly, it comes up where it says my video is submitted, but it's gonna require the student or the teacher, the instructor to approve that video. Um, so just like uh, the comments that students can make to each other, it's also going to take the educator, um, the instructor, to approve each video that's submitted. All right, so there you go. And then, again, start promoting that discussion among the students.